on the next one 128 on the next one 256 on the next one 512 on the next one and this way let it be done for 64 columns and I shall be satisfied <laughs> the king laughed he said I thought you are an intelligent guy inventing a game like this why do you want to deprive yourself if you want a if you want a bag of wheat I'll give it free to you but you name your reward he said no my lord I stick to my demand I want exactly I would be satisfied exact with exactly what I demanded so the king called the minister chief minister and said this man has invented a wonderful game but seems to be a little defective here so you count and probably he needs two or three kilograms of wheat and give it away send him away and while he goes away give him a couple of gold uh, coins so the chief ministers and and the king said he has to be given the exact number of uh, wheat grains that he wanted so they started counting they reached 10 10th column fine 15th column 5 20th column it was an unusually large number 21st column they could not believe their eyes by the time they reached their 25th column it was an exceedingly large number but still they were hopeful that no there is no problem by the time they came to the 40th column the chief minister did not have time even to wear his chappals he ran to the king and said please call him back please ask him to demand something else the king asked him why the chief minister said my lord if we calculate up to the 64th column then the number is so big that the entire world doesn't have that much wheat this is known as cumulation multiplication slowly steadily slowly steadily and finally the output the outcome is amazing don't believe me I'll give you an assignment take a sheet of paper this is only I have taken a piece of cloth only for take a piece of cloth uh, of paper as big as you want fold it ok fold again like this fold like this you have to fold ok this is the way you have to fold fold again like this again like this again like this do you understand what to do fold it 20 times bring it to me I'll give you a thousand rupees is that a small amount 10,000 I'll give you 10,000 rupees only thing you have to fold this way it is not like this ok not like this not like fan you have to fold this way one two three four five six seven eight can you fold it the ninth time well you will say uncle it has become too small ok take a newspaper which is as big as a football field fold it 20 times claim your 10,000 rupees you will be very happy that you have your 10,000 rupees and I will be very happy that I taught you a lesson in accumulation because nobody in this world even the biggest giant cannot fold a newspaper or a sheet of paper 20 times after you fold it about 10 times the result of accumulation becomes so big 
and the force of elasticity becomes so big that you cannot fold it anymore. Okay? Anyway, try it. Try it. Yeah. My dear young friends, I diverted into a few examples so that the things that I said to you may go deep into your heart. Make a decision today. Read the scripture, study the scripture an hour a day. You will never regret it. By the time you are my age, I tell you, you would have such a mighty spiritual life that you would be pleased that you made that decision. Would you please turn with me to page 12. Page 12. What should be our attitude towards correction? What should be our attitude? Point 12. Job chapter 5 verse 17 says, Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Do you think that correction is uh, um, something pleasant? Not at all. Absolutely no. Whether you are a preteen or teenager, a grown up person, or whether you are a man in my age group, Irrespective of your age, irrespective of your profession, correction is not pleasant. Absolutely no. But, if you are tuned to the Lord, you immediately know that correction has come to you from the Lord for a good purpose. Then it would be pleasant. Okay? then it would be pleasant. Hey, I want to say something about this uncle and auntie who are coming. Look at them quickly. Uh, uncle TJ Joseph, auntie. The other day, uncle was here, auntie, auntie was here at the time of inauguration. They said something, but it was so fast that you may not have realized. They serve the Lord in Rajasthan one of the toughest missionary fields. And the first missionary who went to that place was my Sunday school teacher, U. M. Dore Raj. He, he served the Lord there for few years. And after that he was missing. From what we know, that means he was never found, his body also was never found. But it seems that probably he was murdered. So based upon circumstantial evidence, we believe that he, he was murdered and he is the first martyr from the Brethren Assemblies. Um, you will find the whole uh, story in some of my writings. Immediately uncle decided to go to that place to serve the Lord. He was a bachelor. Auntie was a nurse. She decided that she would also go into the same mission field. I still remember how terrified people were there at that time. You are going to Alvar? There are a lot of other places uh, where there is a need for missionaries. Why do you go to Alvar? Okay. They went. And today there is a very highly flourishing ministry there. So shall we all stand up in their honor? Yeah. Please be seated.
I hope that the Lord would call some of you as missionaries. We need more missionaries. And if you hear his voice, don't resist. Okay? Let's come back to our lesson. Thank you, Uncle and Auntie, for paying a visit. It's our pleasure having you in our midst. Not only should we allow ourselves to be examined by the scripture, we should also realize that the Lord continually examines us. Point 11. And point 12 I already mentioned. If our attitude is correct, then correction would come as a pleasure to us. If our attitude is wrong, even the, even the most minor correction would look offensive to us. Have you ever been corrected by others? Your parents? Oh yes, I am sure that you have been corrected by your parents. I was corrected my, by my father. And what I am going to tell you now is going to surprise many of you. It might shock many of you. Because you have seen Johnson C. Philip the preacher, the teacher. I would not have become a preacher or a teacher if my father had not corrected me. Uh, <clears throat> my dad had the perfect weapon. He used to wear a belt. Okay. So he would come home and mom would give a list. This, this, this. Okay. Dad would say, come here. Uh, meanwhile he would be removing his belt. What do I hear? Are these things right? Did you do these things? I would have to confess. Dad would say, I gave you, I instructed you twice before not to do it. And I had told you that, that the third would be the final. And he would he would put